Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1, Fathead, Candy Roth. Uh, We look like we're going to get our first big rainstorm. Could be a thunderstorm this afternoon between like 3 and 9 p.m., Rich Hoffman saying now on News 12. So uh, be on the lookout as you are driving home. You may be sitting in the middle of that this afternoon. Uh, Candy, off the air, you were mentioning something near and dear to my heart that uh, I also uh, was with you yesterday on. Uh, You said you sat out and enjoyed that weather late afternoon, right? late afternoon into early evening, listening to music, listening to the birds, little baby uh, squirrels in the trees next to us. It was lovely. So we barbecued some... um, thighs chicken thighs and ah. uh, a few steaks yesterday and after we barbecued after we ate it was probably about i don't know let's say we were done between six and six thirty mm-hmm. and i go i go outside to shut the barbecue the sun was now past our house it was uh like you know starting to go down it so was lovely it was so breeze. beautiful so beautiful oh and i came inside and i said listen you know, if this was a Friday night or Saturday night and we didn't have school and work tomorrow, I'd be uh, lighting a fire in the fire pit. I hear you. I didn't want to stop. I didn't I didn't want the evening to go away, but I had, we had to work. Yeah. It was really a stellar evening. Beautiful. Yeah, really, really was a uh, I love being nice on day. top of everything. They had offered us the bottom apartment at one point if we wanted to switch. Mm. I was like, uh, no. I mm. like being up high. Yeah, you got the nice deck and everything yeah. and... That's nice. Yeah, beautiful. So you uh, you sat out, you enjoyed the nice breeze yesterday. Gorgeous. The birds, everything. Very nice. Candy, today is honor our LGBT Elders Day. Who have okay. Uh, yeah, who've paved the way. Very yes. nice. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so that's a, that is a big day today. National Barbecue Day. Look, I did that yesterday. Yeah, you're ahead of you're always ahead of the pulse of society. That's right. National Biographers Day today. Ah, nothing like a good biography. Yeah, nothing like the uh, the people that write it, Candy. The uh, the actual biographers. I've yeah. been watching I Am a Killer on Netflix. And what what is that? It's about uh, the actual murderer uh, talking about what happened in stories. There's episodes. Each episode is a different person. And I got to tell you, it's very compelling. Mm. I'm gonna, I am a killer. All right. I'm gonna, I you, am a killer. Very compelling. You love that stuff. All right. Me too. Um, and we're going to, after we go through National Days, remind me, I watched a few things I got to tell you about on uh, Netflix. Uh, All it's right. National... Co- how many how you pronounce this? Coquille Saint Jacques Day, a French dish, scallops, creamy wine sauce. Co- I don't know anything about this. I'm definitely pronouncing this wrong. Uh, C O Q U I L L E S. How would you pronounce that word? Co- Coquille. I don't Co- know. Co- Coquille Saint Jacques. That is the uh, yeah buttercream scallops. Mm, Sounds don't good. Think I've ever had scallops that way. It's National Do Something Good for Your Neighbor Day today, Candy. I will uh, be quiet. How's that? <laughs> That's the best thing That's you can do. That's all I got. Uh, National Love a Tree Day. Love a Tree every day. National Mimosa Day. Oh, Mimosa. Yes, National Piercing Day. You got any piercings, Candy? Just in my ears. Okay. I think that's enough. And National Sea Monkey Day today. See, we don't hear about sea monkeys no, much anymore. No, nobody, nobody talks much about sea monkeys. And no. to be honest, I'm not even going to look up what the deal is with sea monkeys. Oh. You can you can investigate. Go to Wikipedia uh, if you like and, and check out uh, about your sea monkeys. Uh, so you told me you're watching Netflix, I Am a Killer. Yes. All right. I watched over the weekend the new Rebel Wilson comedy movie, How Senior Year. It was cute. So uh, the way I described it, my sister Amy has two types of shows. The type that she will recommend that her and Paul watch at night and really get into on the couch. And the type that she will try out on the treadmill to preview it because she doesn't think it's worthy of the couch, Candy. Oh, senior something. Senior year with Rebel Wilson is a cute comedy. It is not worthy of the couch. It's a treadmill uh, movie. Treadmill. Gotcha. Treadmill movie. Thank you. I like that review, by the way. Now, yes. Now, I will tell you what is worthy of the couch. I watched the new series. It's 10 episodes. Looks like it sets it up for a uh, second you season. You watched all 10 episodes already? I, I, over the weekend, 10 episodes of The wow. Link, Lincoln Lawyer Candy. Oh. 
Yes, the Lincoln lawyer. Ba- it, it's um, it's not Matthew McConaughey, but it's ba- it's loosely based on the movie, and it's completely different, you know, people. But it's um, it's a ten episode series that is produced by David E. Kelly, the great television producer. Oh, he has done wonderful things. Yeah, and it feels like a television style show. Um, like you could take this and put it right on TV. There's nothing too crazy about you know it's just a really well developed show i loved it i thought it was great i got into it i highly recommend the lincoln lawyer i thought lincoln it was lincoln lawyer yeah it's a 10 episode if you want a uh a, a netflix series that feels like a high end law show on tv uh this is this is it the lincoln lawyer felt got like got it yeah i'll check it out yeah i thought it was i thought it was pretty good i i got into it all right we'll end your uh, day with some good news yay um a woman in utah helping out mothers who are having trouble finding baby formula she's selling 4000 ounces of breast milk that's a lot she is hoping to sell it for a dollar an ounce but willing to negotiate with desperate mothers wow she's listing it online and it is Legal, though unregulated. Oh. Interesting, right? Interesting. We were discussing the lack of baby formula yesterday. Of course, my darling Jackie is having a baby in September. And Evan and I were saying, you know, maybe we sh- if we see it on a shelf, we'll pick some up or whatever, you know, try to order some. Yep. And, and of course, our sweet Jackie said, well, I don't want to take it from mothers that actually need it now. You know, I it's interesting you say that because... Um, I was about to say that by the time she needs it, which is end of September, beginning of October, um, I'm sure they're going to work this out, Candy. They're going to figure out how to how to make more baby formula. You would have to think. I would have to think that. Right. So that's, you know, good on her. That's very, very kind that's of her. That's the sweet kind of person she is. It's very... Evan and I are like, well, rip it out of their hands and run with it down the street. No, it's, it's very nice. A woman, uh, 80-year-old woman, Madeline Adams. Yeah, yeah I mean, you and Evan, uh, you know, yeah, I, could, <laughs> I know what's going on there already. 80-year-old woman, Madeline Adams, graduated University of Nebraska uh, 60 years after she planned to. She said she stopped at the time because of life. And her daughter encouraged her to go back. And congrats. She is Love a, it. a graduate. Never too late. Never too late. And a woman in Michigan found out she won a $500,000 Powerball prize on Mother's Day. Hey, that's the gift I've been looking for. I know. Well, maybe next year. We'll see maybe, what we can do. Maybe. Candy, have a great rest of your day. You get back in that office and don't germ anybody. I'll try not to. We are... Uh, Going to have a big thunderstorm. Looks like a lot of rain this afternoon. Be on the lookout between 3 and 9 p.m. Let's hit the roads. My country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. On My Country, 96.1.